happy Easter from the Norwegian mountains, their followers. You know what? I recognize that uh, these days there's a lot of activity, particularly on one of our YouTube videos, which uh, is uh, taking on or is about that um, man that is calling himself a prophet, uh, uh, Sadhu Sundar Selvarai, that man from India. A lot of people they are commenting on that video and, and warning me because I made this warning. I saw him with that. Uh, I saw him and I saw that Shiva, God, that goddess that they have in the in the Hindu religion, you see. And this man, if you look up some of his sermons, you will hear that he has many bizarre stories. He always has visitation from the late men of God, from the, you know, the true men of God, from the, that you can read about in the, uh, in the Bible records, you see. So, I want to tell you something, people of God and everyone else who is watching and following us. You can serve God with your own, you can serve God with your intellect, but you cannot serve, put yourself above the word of God, above the standards, your intellect, above the standards of the word of God, you see. You must follow the word of God and you must follow the voice of the Holy Spirit and the revelation of Jesus Christ and the revelation that the Holy Spirit gives you. So if the Lord reveals to me that Shiva God and that Sadhu Sundar uh, Selvarai, which I understand uh, many people are following him because they get very annoyed by this. But if the Lord reveals something to me, I cannot put myself on a level, down on a level, or try to pull, no one can pull down the Lord or what the Lord says, but I cannot attempt to begin to try to correct God because I feel like this is a man of God because he preached good or I don't know anything about his preachings or teachings, but let's say that I think so or you think so. We must follow the Lord Jesus from our heart. We must serve the Lord with our heart, our mind, our spirit, with all our resources. This means, this is why humility means, you see, that we lay down everything before Him. We lay down everything before the footstool of the cross. Even what we think is correct, even what we think is right, is not necessarily right, you see. On my pathway with the Lord, I've been walking with the Lord for many years now. Hallelujah, I came to know the Lord in 2007. So, I have learned many things on my way with Him. Some things that I thought was right, He has showed me, He has revealed to me, He has spoken to me that those things are not correct. Or that man or that woman is not for me. You thought they were for me, but they are not, you see? And then, what am I to do? Am I to stand up in my pride? You know, that's demonic, it's satanic. So you people, you should calm down a little bit. You love men of God, so-called men of God, more than God himself. What you love is that you have made up your mind. You love yourself and you love human beings more than the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why the Lord cannot work miracles, work out miracles for your life. That's why you cannot hear from God. That's why you don't have a revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, that's why God is not using you, because you love your own intellect and you love the way that you see things. Not the way that the Lord Jesus sees things, but the way you see things. What did our dear Lord Jesus Christ say to Apostle Peter when he was walking on this earth? What did he say? There will come a time when you will walk another way, not your way. That's the way of the cross, you see? Taking up the cross, not following your own ways, even those things that you think is good, even the things that you think is right, even the things that you learned in your church, even the things that you learn in your denomination. It's not necessarily the will of God, it's not necessarily the revelation of the Lord Jesus, it's not necessarily the word of God and the revelation that springs from God himself, you see? So, I think that you should just take it easy with this, uh, with all these um, comments, you see, and stir up yourself. You're wasting your energy, you're wasting your time, because I will not bow to you or to 
your warnings. How dare you speak like this about the man of God? That's not the man of God for me when he when he's uh, having that Shiva spirit. You see, when he's saying, if I'm coming out to you, people of God, and all you other people watching, today I was praying, Apostle Paul visit, visited me. Yesterday Moses visited me. Tomorrow, who is it then? Elijah. This is not from God, please. This is anti-Messiah. This is someone that tried to put themselves in the place of Christ. That's what anti-Christ means. Doesn't mean someone that is standing up opposing him with their words, but someone that becomes a sub substitute. That's what anti-Christ means, taking the place in place of Christ. You see? So a person like this Sadhu, he is speaking about all these visitations he have because he want to be in the place of Christ because when Jesus walked on this planet he took the most foremost apostles that became apostles he took them up to the mountain of transfiguration and he had the visitation of the great men of God of old of renown from the old days you see so them too they're going to be like Christ that's what an antichrist means if I'm an Antichrist, I'm putting myself in the place of Christ. In the way that I speak, the way that I say things, my stories, my teachings is centered around the great things that I can do. The great visitation I had focused on Daniel, not on Jesus Christ. So when in the world are you people, all over this world that see our videos on YouTube, Facebook and now also TikTok as well. We have um, recently, very, very recently, uh, uh, established a TikTok account so we want to start to share some videos there as well to reach more people with the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to reach more people to present to them the Lord Jesus Christ you see so just take it easy you see it's all about Jesus Christ it's not about any man it's not about anyone else than the Lord Jesus hallelujah so me and my wife Prophet Zanni and our six kids we are at the Norwegian uh, mountains it's so beautiful weather as you can see we are here at the at the cabin it's wonderful hallelujah the Lord is good isn't it the Lord is good and I'm proud to be a Norwegian I'm proud to be in this country and right now I'm proud to be in the mountain in the snow just enjoying ourselves so god bless you and i will see you next time